and welcome back everyone to another tier list maker or tier maker or however you want to say it we're back today with well obviously another one um and i've been kind of hopping around i'm going to continue to do these we're going to go over every class uh we're going to go ahead and do a little berserker action because i just felt like it actually it was i was talking to my roommate and i go hey what class should i do and he goes what classes have you done i was like saber and extra and he goes berserker i'm like okay so, uh, before we get started, just a reminder, uh, this is going to have spoilers all the way up until Lost Belt uh, 5.2. So if you don't want to be spoiled, go ahead and turn back now. One other thing to note, are these are my personal opinions. Uh, so, it's okay to have different opinions. Uh, let me know what they are down in the comments. Or tweet me. Uh, I've got the links to the Twitter in the description. And I'm also going to have a link to the uh, both Saber and Extra tier list at the... Um, in the description as well as the link to this tier list so if you want to do it yourself you are more than welcome to and hopefully they actually work i don't think the uh the extra one worked as well as the saber one did so that being said we're going to go and get started last warning for people that want to be spoiled or don't want to be spoiled uh leave now and if you're still here after that let's go ahead and start um all right so the Berserker one's a little interesting, because uh, I'm kind of like off the wall with the Berserkers to begin with. Um, we'll go ahead and start with Spartacus. So, uh, I actually like Spartacus as a character. However, in Fate Grand Order, I, I do not care for his design. C tier. Uh, he had some pretty funny lines in APOC. That's the only reason why C tier. If it wasn't for that, it'd be D tier. Astros, D tier. Um, he just never really hit my design. Uh, and he really... I kind of forget about him a fair bit of times. Caligula. Uh, even though... I, I don't know if this is going to be a surprise to anyone. Um, but I do like Caligula. I like his like design. Uh, Personality-wise, he's all about Nero. Um, but that's kind of all he's got going for him. I'm also going to put him C-tier. Uh, Eric, D-tier. Uh, I do... I do joke fairly frequently about Eric, though. Uh, Eric, the Blood Axe King, King of the Blood Axes, the one who wields Blood Axe, uh, just because he's so forgettable at times. Atlante, finally, something that's good. A tier. Uh, I'm quite actually, or I actually really do like Atlante, it's design in whole, and I actually prefer her altar design slightly more um, than her normal one. Uh, Summer Jolter. Uh, S tier. I really, really like J regular Jolter. Uh, I think Summer Jolter is <laughs> even better, in my opinion. Uh, she's, I like her outfit. She's got the whole, like, uh, you know, Chibuyo Syndrome kind of thing going on. It's pretty great, all the way around. Uh, Skeletor, D tier. I can't even pronounce your name. Don't remember what your name is. Um, but you just kind of, you, you don't ring any bells there for me, buddy. You are the second five-star Berserker that's AOE. Uh, the DW gave us, but you're not making any good first impressions for sure. Uh, Arjuna. So, here's the thing. I'm not, like, I wasn't the biggest fan of Arjuna at the beginning. Regular Arjuna, uh, after doing his interlude, I ended up liking him a little more than what, uh, most people probably would. Um, I know he's not a favorite or anything. Um, his design, in my opinion, is what really holds it back. Although his Berserker form does have some uniqueness to it. But we're still gonna have to put him C tier. Also, before we go any further, uh, count how many times I say the word um and let me know in the comments because I know during extra it was a lot. So next we have Mori. I don't know about him a whole lot. Uh, he seems pretty chill though. Uh, well, I say he seems pretty chill. He actually seems quite the opposite of chill. Uh, and his MP is pretty stylish, you know, ripping someone in half essentially. We're going to move him up to B tier. Uh, like I said, until I know more about his personality, I really can't justify him going higher. But I do like his design. Uh, and I like his, like, MP and the way his skills and stuff look. They're pretty neat. Um, Slow me, uh, Skull Face, uh, D tier. I, I don't know much about, uh, Salome or, and her, her design is kind of bottom of the road, uh, honestly. Uh, Musashi, Berserker. I, also, this is the first time I've seen her April Fool's art. Shout out to her having a Holy Grail cup eating ramen. S tier. Uh, for those that don't know, I absolutely love Musashi. She is another one of my Afu. So, to no surprise at all, she's up there. Uh, Beowulf. So, Beowulf, I loved the um, epic of Beowulf. It was like one of the first epics I read um, that I can actually fully remember. I read it in like 6th grade, or maybe it was 5th grade. It was somewhere around in there. Uh, but, 
there's just something about him in Fate Grand Order where he hasn't been like super super impressive. Um, B tier. He, he like I said, he's middle of the road. He's nothing insane, uh, but he he's pretty great. Uh, Cha Cha. All right. I don't know if anyone knows this. Cha Cha. Uh, ooh, do I put her in A or S? I really like Cha Cha. I think I'm gonna go with S. Simply for the animation of her falling on her butt when she uses uh, her skills, if you can get that to happen. It's pretty rare. Well, allegedly it's rare. I'd rarely get it. Maybe Chacha just hates me. Um, but I, since I've seen Chacha, I thought she was a pretty funny character. And her dialogue from Gouda Gouda was great. Uh, all in all, pretty funny character. I enjoy her design. Enjoy her skills. Enjoy her conversations you have with her. She's funny. S tier. Uh, Koo. So, I like Koo's. However, there's something about Berserk Koo where I think they done the, one of the things where it's like too much going on and is like uh, his card art and everything. Um, he's going to have to go A tier. Uh, like I said, him having like the giant tail. I I like the coups when they have like their more minimalist look, I guess. Uh, but Berserker when he's got like the whole like red, I guess, jacket type thing and his massive tail. and his, He's just got too much going on for him. Um, Darius, D tier. Uh, also, boy, Berserker's gonna have a lot of D tiers, it seems. Uh, so, here's the thing about Darius. I kind of forget that he exists in a lot of times. Also, his design has never really struck with me. It's odd just seeing him have a bunch of candles. Um, he is massive, though. I will say that. He's a unit when it comes to hot. Uh, so, but he also, it's very forgettable in the story. I can't remember if he's actually showed up in the story in Fake Grand Order, which cements the further case of me forgetting about him. Fran, uh, I actually like Fran quite a bit. She's not S tier, but she's definitely A tier. Um, she's cute. She's, you know, wearing a little gown. Apoc made me really like her a lot more. Uh, her and that fist bump and Morgan are always clutch. So, A tier is where it is. Uh, Herc. So, here's the thing about Herc. I used to like Herc. And then everybody's, I, I, I've been berated with things about Herc for so long. It's kind of made me lose a little bit of interest on him. Uh, so I'm going to probably have to put him beat here. Uh, his design is okay. And I like him through Fate Stay Not. Uh, I like him through, the, you know, anytime he's shown up uh, through the story, he's been pretty cool. Um, he's got a really, really... Uh, I don't know if I'd say it's neat. It's a fairly okay, I guess, MP animation of him just beating someone to death. Uh, but it's also simplistic, and I kind of like it for that simplicity. Um, that's kind of all i got to really say about her. Oh, and uh, props for him being able to turn into a bizarre car. Uh, you can't go wrong with that from Carnival Phantasm. Hijikata. Uh, B tier. Uh, Hijikata's design, pretty cool. Uh, his MP is a little lackluster when it comes to the animation. It's just him running saying Shin Sengumi. But uh, that being said, like I said, he's got a really cool design. Um, his an attack animation is pretty neat. Uh, he was okay through Gouda Gouda. Uh, definitely middle of the road there. Banana Oni. Um, where do I put Banana Oni? Um, here's the thing about Ibaraki. At first I wasn't crazy about her design. And it, another one of the has too much stuff, like stuff going on, uh, but I have grown to like her a little more, and she's kind of funny uh, throughout the story. I, I don't think I can justify her for A tier though. I think I'm gonna have to put her B tier as well. Kiyohime. So here's something I don't know if anyone actually knows. I actually like uh, Kiyohime quite a bit. I don't ever really talk about it in the Discord uh, or anything, but. Uh, her design's really neat. Uh, she just got her animation update earlier, uh, was it this month or maybe it was last month, which really, really is a, I, I like the animation update. It fits her pretty well. Um, she's, has she been, she was in Shimosa at least. I'm trying to think if she was in anything other than that. I'm sure she was. Um, we're going to put her A tier. She's not S tier, but she is up there. Lancelot. So here's the thing about Lancelot. <laughs> his dialogue through his uh, through the the interlude that he's got is pretty great. If you haven't read it, I'd absolutely recommend it. It's pretty much just him fetching sticks and beating people with them. Uh, pretty funny. He's got a cool jet. He has a really cool scene in Fate Zero, uh, and you can't go wrong with that. 
Um, probably another A tier. I don't like him more than his saber form, for sure. But he is still pretty neat, regardless. Lubu. Uh, so, here's the thing. I love Dynasty Warriors. When I came to Dynasty Warriors, I would always want to use Lubu. Uh, I went recently. Uh, well, I say recently. Um, it's been like oh, two weeks or something now. Three weeks by the time you guys see this. Uh, since I fought him in Fate Extra, he's got really funny d dialogue in Extella. Uh, he has probably some of the best dialogue in Extella. Um, probably C tier, though. There's just something about his design. Uh, him going Super Saiyan is kind of weird. His current MP animation is very lame. He does get an uh, He's getting an MP animation update in NA soon um, to make it stand out a lot and, and not just be very, very bland. Um, but, like I said, eh, character-wise, he... In Grand Order, he hasn't really done a whole lot. But he does have some funny dialogue in Extella, so I'll give him points for that. But I'm just not a fan of his design in this game. MHXA, S tier. Uh, I really like MHXA. Uh, she, uh, I've got her MP5 now in Grand Order. Uh, the whole Darth Vader vibe. Well, I guess it's not really a Darth Vader-ish, but it is a Sith Lord. Uh, great. Her outfits are all very, very cool. I can see people liking every one of them. Uh, I prefer her and her little warm, toasty scarf. Uh, she looks very cozy in it. But she great all the way around. She's got a really neat uh, MP animation. Um, so, S tier for her. Nightingale. So, here's the th weird thing about Nightingale. I originally wasn't a fan of Nightingale at all. Her card art, to me, it was very, very boring and weird looking. But I started using Nightingale quite a lot at one point in time and really, really liked her. Uh, she was pretty funny in story as well. I'm going to have to chalk her probably B tier at this point, though. Um, her design still isn't, like, the greatest in my opinion. And she still, like, she hasn't done a whole lot story-wise recently. But when she does show up, she is pretty impactful. Uh, she also gets a skill of, or, I can't, I don't think it's her skill. I think it's a, uh, her extra attack is her throwing a bad... Um, but, uh, which is just great all the way around. So, B tier for her. Nobu. Alright. As I've said previously, Nobu, Insta S tier. Uh, Nobu's great. Nobu, Nobu, Nobu. Also, this version of Nobu has a stand. You can't go wrong with that. Especially for those that love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Which, if you don't know, I, like, fell in love with it and binged the entire thing in, like, a week. It wasn't a week. It was, like, a month, probably. Actually, it might not have even been a month. Alright. Then we've got Little Bunyan. Um... Props for Bunyan being able to insta-MP. Uh, she's adorable. She's got a chainsaw. I'm going to have to chalk her up to probably the B tier, though. Uh, mm, no, we'll move her up to A. We'll put her in A tier. Uh, I, like I said, Bunyan was pretty funny uh, and adorable in her own story. The whole origin of Paul Bunyan in Fate Grand Order in itself is pretty great. Uh, she's got a very simplistic design, uh, but it, it works in her favor for this one for sure. Next, we have Pent. Pent, another one I wasn't, like, super, super excited for originally. Uh, I thought she was just kind of, like, okay. But I did like her animations on her attacks. Uh, and also, I, I've grown to like her a lot. Uh, just from her being, like, the Amazonia CEO and some other stuff. I might have to put her probably another one in A tier. Mm. Next, we have Golden Boy Kentucky. Um, so, I'm not as a big a fan of Kentucky. Uh, at least Berserker Kentucky as I am Rider Kentucky. They're both still pretty great. Um, but, uh, I don't remember what he did in London. I don't think it was a whole lot to begin with. Um, but he, he does show up quite often in the story. Um, probably another B tier, honestly. Um, like I said, it, he's okay. His design is not the greatest in my opinion. Uh, I do prefer his Rider form a little more. Uh, still great, though, nonetheless. Can't go wrong with B tier. Next, we have Tomacat. So, I actually really like Tomomo, but there's something about Tomacat that I don't care for at all. Um, D tier. Uh, she just... There's just something off about it. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know exactly what it is. It's just something. Uh, next, we have a Lan or I was about to say Lancer Vlad. Berserker Vlad. Uh, he's arts memes, but kind of forgettable as well. Probably C tier. Um, he, he, meh, he, that's about all I can say. He, he doesn't impress me in any way. Uh, meh. <laughs> it's Vlad. Next, we have Rocco. 
So I wasn't the biggest fan of Rocco's design. Um, her personality is pretty funny though, but her design, I, I really don't like her design. <laughs> it, it, it's specifically her card art design. Uh, well, I say it's her card art design. Even her ascension stages aren't like, uh, her ascension sprites aren't my favorite. Um, and I have a hard time choosing between them. Uh, probably, honestly, as much as I love Raikou, uh, yeah, probably a B tier for, uh, honestly. So, there is that. Next, we have to decide. It's coming down to the Golden Honey, and this one honestly should be no surprise at all to anyone. Uh, it's absolutely Musashi. Uh, I fell in love with Saber Musashi. I can't wait for Berserker Musashi. She, if there's one thing I'll say about Saber Musashi, she's all in the Buster memes, and I prefer my arts memes, which, if you know me, and you know Berserker Musashi, she is right in there. She's prime loop material. So, and like I said, she's got that adorable little, uh, little cup of ramen inside a Holy Grail. So, that's going to do it for this one. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed watching. Uh, we'll go ahead and let me know what you guys thought. Let me know if any, like, placement changes you would do. Uh, tweet me. If you decide to do the tier list and you want to show it to me, use the Twitter thingy and tweet at me what your tier list would be. Or just put it in the comments of what you would change. And I appreciate everyone for watching, and I'm going to catch you guys next time.